because I'm heading a team that's responsible for our government and public utility sector. For governments, the element of safe usually translates to a solution that sits in the domain of public safety, of course, and safe city. In public safety, already different CCTV cameras or intelligent video surveillance systems already are in place. And what they do is a number of things. Uh, I'm sure everyone uh, who drives a car a bit too fast has gotten a ticket for speeding, and that's usually uh, coming your way because a camera caught you. Uh, the same would go for toll gates, where um, different sensors behind the, uh, the windshield of your car, or perhaps via the license plate, uh, an other kind of camera understands the license plate or recognizes that license plate. And if you're passing some uh, turnstiles or um, specific kind of gates when you're at the airport for uh, border control and customs, you perhaps have already seen something like a face recognition maybe, yeah. or at Schiphol Airport, uh, the Privium entrance and exits uh, with the iris scan, scan and, yeah. bio and, and bio-optics and biometrics are other systems who are using camera technology. So we see two things in this case. Number one, these different streams are very helpful in different ways, but could be, more, uh, could be used more efficiently if we can find a way to integrate all that, uh, to make them work as one, perhaps. And is as one camera or as the data as one? It could be, well, I think data would be separately uh -huh. because the data of a face is slightly different than the data of an eye versus yeah. data of uh, your license plate that is connected maybe today to car number one and tomorrow you buy a new car and perhaps you take the plate with you in some countries that actually happens. So data would probably be differentiated, but a camera that can do all of this at once would probably be more interesting, but probably also very expensive. Yep. So the other side of the equation could be if there is a platform that sits in the back end that takes these different images, blends them and integrates them together, or let's just get a regular camera that just takes images and some modules, applications in the back end can look in their different settings and in their different ways to these different images to determine this is a car that speeds, this is a car that uh, 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 hits a red light, this is a car that runs someone over and all of a sudden things, let's not stop, let's drive back home or somewhere else, uh, and so on and so forth, are examples of where these different streams are coming together in something that we call the next step of where video is going and that's exactly where Huawei sits. Enjoy this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, share and get notifications of my new video.